Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Merritt. I'm only organizing my planner. And today I am setting up my April planner. I'm late. I'm late setting up my April planner. Y'all look at this cover. This is the cover I'm going to use. I'm so excited. It's gorgeous. Okay. Um, let's, let's go through this thing. I've got a messy desk. I need to get my... You know what? We're going to just wait a minute. Let's go ahead and pull off these because those are going to go away. I used those two months in a row. This is my word of the year um, about enthusiasm and trying new things. All right, let's go into... This is my social media planner. So I'm gonna kind of give a quick little flip through as I do this. That was January versus 2024 versus 2023. So let me grab, oh, is this it? Yeah. All right, so that's February and March. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to do my 2024 versus 2023. So let me go into... Let's find it. And, oh, it's taking me a minute. I should have had this ready to go. Um, all right. Okay, let's do it this way. So in 2024, I had 2.5. Thousand views. I had three hundred and fifty, no, three hundred and twenty-five, three hundred and twenty-five point two watch hours. And then I have fifteen. subscribers all right and so we want to compare that with 2023 you know just so we know how we're doing and in 2023 I had 1.8 thousand views 221 point two watch hours watch hours this is what happens when I get in a hurry and 10 subscribers so I had I don't know not quite a thousand more views um, I'm really trying to get to thousand subscribers but it's slow going slow going all right so let's go ahead and we'll put this back in here I hope that's me okay I'm getting overwhelmed all right so let me pull out here's March monthly And you'll see at the end of the month, I did not decorate. So there's March. Let's see. Let me make sure you can see what I'm seeing. All right. So there's the March monthly. And then week one, two, three. Oh, and here's week four. Um, I did not get all of these videos up, I don't think. Yeah, because I didn't get my April set up and I was going to go up Friday. It, anyway, it is what it is. 
Did I? No, it was this week of April that I didn't get things up. Um, but that's okay because we're just, we're just on the struggle bus and it's okay. I was on vacation and it is not the end of the world. All right, so let's go back here and fill in. All right, we're gonna pull out all of April here. And here it goes in the monthly. So it was this week that none of these, none of those happened. They just didn't get done. Um, so we're just going to have to fill in the April work monthly can go in somewhere. Um, probably not going to film a cash dubbing or reading journal. I've got lots of things going on, so I'm not really going to contribute to my sinking funds this month. I know. Um, but I'm going to have to move. So I've got like kid tuition due, um, go out, the masters, like all sorts of stuff is going on this month. So it's just not necessarily going to happen. All right, let's pull out... Where am I? So that is April. So that means May is going to have to come out of here. And it will go in the holding plan right, right here. Okay. So that goes in there. Okay, then we'll pull. This is one that has not really been working for me, my meal planner. So I don't even know, I don't even know that I need all this in here. I think I'm gonna pull that out. Let's get the meal planner and oh, things are falling off my shelf. I'm gonna just go ahead and add this back into the beginning of this. All right, so there's January, February. All right. So, again, I keep trying to use this, and really all I use is the grocery list and the meal planner. I wanted to use it to track, to track meals, but it's just not working out so well for me. So let's put this in here. Oh, can I get all that in there? We'll pull May out. Oh, I missed a page somewhere. Okay, let's. All right, so that one can be put away. All right. Here is the right here. Yeah, I think this is right. Because we want that there. And then what did I do? here in front of recipes. And then here's the tracker. And again, I've already missed the whole first week. So it is what it is. Right. And we'll put May in. And I don't know if it continues to not work for me. I'll probably just remove this section and just have like a grocery list or a meal planner section. Um, and I might just use it in my, um, in the wellness, which is the next section. So let's go here. All right. 
and we will pull out March. I don't use the monthly. Usually, I um, words. Um, usually, I will take March the month. I will take the monthly, and I'll just glue it together. But I didn't do it this month, and that's okay. So February and put March in and then take May out. All right. All right, here is this one. I'm already, there's budget. Dude. Oh, it's because I normally, okay. Oh, I'm struggling today. I got home from the beach today and it is like 8.45 at night. And so my brain is not working quite the way that it <laughs> operates when I film in the morning or like right when I get home from work. Okay, so there's my health. Now the budget. Oh, let's go ahead and add May in here. And we will pull out the April budget, which I have, um, you've seen this, this went up, I don't remember when, but that was my, where I put my budget in there. Okay, so let's pull out the monthly and I didn't even categorize week four. It's just been so busy. See, I didn't write week four down or even what I spent. I did keep up with it though. So I kept up with it. I just didn't write it in here. Okay. And we need the budget planner. And we'll put this one back in. My budget planner is normally one of my most used planners. I use um, like I really utilize on a regular basis my catch-all planner, which is my big, um, my big vertical <laughs> planner, um, my work planner, which is a big dashboard, and um, my social media, which is a classic dashboard, and that budget planner. Uh, and my book journal. So those are the ones that I really use the most. I write down in my like health and wellness, I write down the fitness for my watch. But that's pretty much what I'm using it for. So I feel like I'm gonna need to combine um, my health and wellness and like my meal planning type of thing because it's just not working for me otherwise all right and then my faith is like this month like I didn't even complete my gratitude it just didn't happen and then I didn't complete my Bible studies so that's kind of frustrating. I need to get better and do better about that. Um, 
Let's see, is this the one? It's not. I really have too many planners. I don't, I didn't say that out loud though. Don't tell my husband that I said it. Here we go. All right. So let's put March back in there. I could go back and back plan in March. I'm going to pull May out. Put that away. I know that for those of you who do not use multiple planners, that this process probably drives you nuts. Um, <laughs> or or piques your curiosity. Um, I keep the holding planner, like if you look, I've already, like see I've mapped out May and my social media already. And so like I'll use it, I keep it handy. So to utilize it to see kind of what's coming up and what's going on. Um, so, that's what it's there for. If I did not film YouTube videos, I might not use the holding planner. I don't know if I would or not. Um, but it does help me out. So, so I use it. <laughs> um, but I know that it seems like an overwhelming process to those of you who I'm like, what are you doing? I've had people ask me that before. Um, and it's just my system. So I don't know how else to explain it. Except for that's just, that's just what I do. All right. Okay, so that gets me to, um, all right, my book, journal. All right, so I have not, th these are the books that I've read since March. So I've read 11 books in March and today is April 5th as I'm planning and I have already read four books <laughs> in April, um, but I've been at the beach. So that's kind of what's happened. So I've filled those in, but I haven't colored the books in. Um, then here, I went ahead and I'm trying to grab my color pencils off of my bookshelf. Um, here, I went ahead and read that I had read 11 books this month. And then I read one that was set in Asia. That was actually in April that I read it. Um, the Last Rose of Shanghai was set in China. Uh, just before and during World War II. Well, it kind of goes back and forth. It was really good. I, I liked it a lot. Um, so that one was set in China. I also borrowed a book. Um, it was one that was at our beach house. And so I borrowed it off the shelf and returned it before I left. So there we go. All right, and so borrowed book. So I still have a few more. I need to check to see if any of the ones I've read were a Reese's Book Club or an Oprah's Book Club. I need to find one set in Africa. So if you have any recommendations there, let me know. And y'all, I don't want to read a book for work. <laughs> I just don't. That's so whiny of me, but I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I haven't added in my five star reads, but um, for this month, the only five star read that I had was, um, doo -doo -doo, which one was it? Oh, The Block Party. So. I really liked the block party. It was very good. It is by, who's it by? Um, all right, we'll just flip through. P. 
people we meet on vacation, meet me in the bathroom, which is about the music scene in the early 2000s in New York. I read the second, The Housemaid's Secret. This is the second book. Oh, Jamie Day wrote the book party. Um, Y'all, okay, I actually read more than 11 books, um, but I read these. They were steamy. Then I went down a steamy path, and some of the books I was just honestly like too embarrassed to put in my Goodreads or in my um, journal and to put on the internet. So we'll just, just know I actually read more than 11 books, <laughs> but mm, we're not going to acknowledge all of them. All right. And then uh, Yellow Face was an audio book that I finished um, Friday on the way to the beach. So, and then I picked up a book on the 30th and I finished it on the 1st. So I'll count it in April book, April books. So let's put these back in here. And So there's March. We'll take May out. And May will go here. Oh. And we'll pull April out of here. And put it in here. All right. Now, let's go ahead. And while we're, while we're right here, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So while I'm here, let's go on to the ones that I read in April. So I read The Bookshop on the Corner, which I don't have a sticker for, but The Heiress I do. And I finished it on the second, let's see if I can get the, the backing off of here. Okay. So I finished the heiress there. And then the last rose of Shanghai. I finished on the fourth. And then oh no okay so I finished two books on the fourth so we're just gonna put one on the fourth and then I read this one in one day so we'll just put it on the fifth because I didn't finish a book today but I should fi probably finish my audiobook that I'm listening to tomorrow. So that'll be one on Saturday. All right, so this one will be on the 4th. It was not that great. Um, the Heiress was really good. I really liked it. The Last Rose of Shanghai was really good. Um, so let's give a quick, a quick little update of what these are. So The Last Rose of Shanghai is um uh wealthy chinese woman falls in love with jewish immigrant during World War II. Right. The heiress, um, oh, like, I read, um, a wealthy North Carolina family.
risks, relationships. Um, to keep money. <laughs> Treachery and murder. In the zoo. And then this is, this one is like, limited means it was like, um, short vignettes of wealthy women, not written well. But I'm not sure. I don't even know that all the facts are completely accurate, but that, anyway, it was not a great book. I read it all, but <laughs> it wasn't great. I read it all in a day, but it still wasn't great. Okay, um, and then I'm currently reading It Happened One Summer, and I'm still reading an Anthony Bourdain book, but it's going slow, because, anyway, um, I don't know, for some reason, nonfiction books always, always read slower. Okay, well, except for that one. <laughs> that, it, oh, let's, let's we're gonna pull loudly that off we're gonna add this cover y'all i'm so excited about this cover and then i think like this summer i may even use this as a cover but this is so 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 beautiful i love it so much um so we're gonna pull these off along with that and then here we go. yeah all right oh. there we go that's it for the month of for the month of april all right so thank you for watching i appreciate you being here um, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. Hit the like button if you like this. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.